And sometimes it's really funny to watch how these ideas that your actions create your reality get twisted along the way. So, for example, there is a word in Sanskrit language. Sanskrit is a language of the ancient Indian sages and mystics, and it is karma. So, you probably heard of the word. Karma is usually understood, misunderstood, <laughs> and mistranslated in our language as either destiny, something that you cannot change, it is just the way it is, it is your bad karma that things happen in a way that you do not prefer, or, that's even weirder, it is some weird universal law of uh, punishment and words. So, if you want to live inside a beautiful reality, all you need to do is create a, a more positive point and uh, less negative points. <laughs> well, that's kind of true, but literally, word karma in Sanskrit means action. What are they trying to tell us? That it is your actions that will create your reality, or actually that your life is of your own making. Your life is of your own making, but your life is not of your own thinking or feeling. It is of your own making. It is essential in order to have a high quality inspired action, to have high quality inspired thoughts. And they are coming from your well, emotional state, or emotional state is reflective of your vibratory state, so you need to be in a good vibration in order to have uh, higher quality thoughts, but then you need to ground them into appropriate action in order to have a reality that you prefer and that your senses are going to pick up. And the circle well, continues. <laughs>